What to do about homeless camps in Albuquerque? It's something the city is trying to figure out. Right now, the city is dealing with it through 311. Target 7 used an open records request to get a list of every time someone has called the city about homeless encampments. Tonight, John Carnelli investigates what happens after you call. Jerry Romero loves to garden at her home near downtown Albuquerque. Well, it makes me feel happy. It's a happy feeling to have flowers to look at. And just like the plants in her garden grow, a problem was growing across the street from her home. We live here and we have to see it every day. I, I didn't even want to look that way in the mornings, but it's in front of my dining room table, you know, and it was, it was sad. Romero called 311 55 times in the last 18 months, reporting homeless camps near Wells Park. Very depressing because I felt like nobody was listening to us. She and thousands of others have done what the city says. Yes, ma'am. Contact 311, not 911 when they see homeless camps. You can call 311 or use the 311 app. According to data from the city, in the past year and a half, there have been more than 11,500 contacts to 311 for homeless camps. That's about 21 a day. Thank you for calling. This is Renee. How may I help you? Hi, Renee. Reggie Tibbetts. Can you put in an order for a homeless encampment? This man called 59 times. Yes, if we don't say anything about uh, homeless encampments that are built up, for instance, they don't seem to go away. I don't even call them anymore because they don't seem to do a thing about it. Mike Wheeler has called 311 36 times about what he sees when he opens the back gates to his home. Today it doesn't look so bad because you only see maybe a dozen of them out here. But generally there's got to be 40 or 50. Wheeler lives right behind Phil Chacon Park. In the park there's tents, people doing their laundry on a fence, a porta potty with the words 311 all day spray painted on it, and a woman sleeping in a tent just a few yards away from an Albuquerque police video monitoring trailer. Um, yeah, it looks pretty consistent with, with other encampments around the city. Uh, unfortunately, it's not, um, like in these pictures, you could say these people are in the park, right? Using it for the day, just as you would a blanket or set up a, a shade structure with your family. So that in itself is not a crime. Dr. Elizabeth Holguin oversees the city's homeless program initiative. She says when people call 311, the city prioritizes the calls based on the threat to public safety. They then send out social workers, offer people hotel vouchers, and give them a 72 hour notice to vacate. She acknowledges the city can't deal with every call. And how many people in total are a part of that team that goes out and is in charge of cleaning up these camps? Well, right now we're short uh, quite a few workers. It's about five. So five people, and, and you said you are understaffed. So like, what should it be at? Well, we should have five and we have um, two or three right now. When Target 7 come through the list of 311 calls, many people are calling back complaining that nothing is done. We found more than 400 calls in which the city never reported what they did to solve the problem. And some of the calls, city workers arrived days and even weeks later and couldn't find the camp. And the problem is not just at Phil Chacon Park or Coronado Park. Take a look at this map. Target 7 plotted the GPS coordinates of every single complaint. Oh, wow. <laughs> Much more significant than I thought. Mine seems like a small number compared to that. It's pretty full of phone calls just about everywhere in the city. That's what I see. It's fairly widely distributed, although there's obvious concentrations in certain areas. For years, the city has spent millions trying to solve this problem, and now they're in the process of establishing sanctioned homeless camps. But will any of these efforts clean up parks like this one and stop calls the 311? Not entirely, no. Romero now gardens in her yard and doesn't have to see a homeless camp when she looks across the street. I feel peaceful. But she says it didn't come easy. I called all the time and it's, they started listening to me. If you want to see if a homeless camp has been reported in your area, you can go to KOAT.com where you'll see a map. When you click on a dot, it will bring up information and details about what was reported and what the city did or didn't do to address it. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. Recently, Mayor Keller has said he is changing his strategy when dealing with homeless camps, adding the status quo will not stand.